Let's get rolling. One of the easiest ways I identify potential Kramer names for Mad Money, the stocks that could but uh, won't necessarily always end up on the show, is by watching my favorite list from when I was, frankly, a little boy in fifth grade. I used to look at the new high list. I thought it was like the guys who were hitting better than 300 in baseball. Stocks on that illustrious list, the highest of the high, obviously have something going for them, and that's especially true when the market's in bad shape, as only the best of the best can hit new highs when the market's falling apart. So what's it tell you when a stock hits the new high? Either that it's part of a genuine bull market or the company itself has some serious earnings or sales momentum, uh, or maybe its sector does which is so often responsible for a stock's increase. No matter how they get there, many stocks on the new high list often keep going higher because it's really a list of A students that are worth investing in. They, the A students tend to repeat themselves in the process every quarter, just like the really smart kids in school. In a great bull market like we've had from the bottom in 2009, and any market, by the way, that doubles from the bottom has to be considered a great bull market. Even as I know so many resist such labels, we saw this new high list phenomena over and over again. The same stock would hit new high after new high after new high. And following them was a great way to make money, even as the bears claimed endlessly that the bull market was false and couldn't be trusted. Listening to the bears caused you to miss out on one of the greatest rallies in history. Now, obviously, the rally since the bottom is more like the exception than the rule over time of all the years I've followed the market. But generally speaking, things have worked with work will uh, continue to work. Because these stocks typically represent companies that are best of breed. Always remember that phrase because it's integral to mad money. I'm not saying that just so you can chase stocks that are hitting their new highs because they'll keep going higher. That would be the ultimate foolishness. True bozo of the clown behavior when I used to have hair. I'm saying that if you want to identify stocks that will be winners in the future, unless there's been a big sea change in the market caused by maybe a gigantic political shift or radical shift dramatically higher in interest rates, looking at the biggest winners of the present is a pretty good place to try to figure out the future. Let this list do it for you. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.